and Junior Commander Caroline. For our second vodcast, we decided to show you some of the scariest, biggest, and most amazing fish we've ever seen. As part of Zeb Hogan's Megafish Project, about 20 species of giant fish around the world have been documented and photographed. Our first example of a megafish brings us to the Yangtze River in China. The Chinese paddlefish may be the largest freshwater fish in the entire world. It can grow up to 23 feet long and can weigh up to 1,100 pounds. Now that sounds like a monster fish. It really is. <laughs> However, no one has seen one in the Yangtze River since 2003. Historians think that the Chinese paddlefish was once plentiful in the Yangtze River, but are now on the brink of extinction. Our second megafish can be found at Cone Falls in Laos, near the border of Cambodia. The Mekong giant catfish weighs around 646 pounds. The species holds the record for the largest freshwater fish ever caught. Wow, that must have taken one big fishing pole. Our next fish takes us to Mongolia, where biologist Zeb Hogan himself holds a taimen. Related to the salmon, the taimen is much larger than its popular fish cousin, and like other megafish, grows up to at least six feet, and weighs more than 200 pounds. Now that's a lot of sushi. This crazy creature is called a giant freshwater stingray. It can grow up to 197 inches long, and can weigh up to 1,323 pounds. It's found in the Mekong River Basin in Southeast Asia. This next fish is called the Mississippi Paddlefish. It's about 87 inches long and is found in the Mississippi River Basin in North America. This next fish, the Nile perch, is 79 inches long and can weigh up to 441 pounds. It lives in the Nile River Basin in Africa. This fish is called the Arapaima. It weighs around 441 pounds and grows up to about 177 inches long. It lives in the Amazon River in South America. This last fish is called the giant barb. It grows up to 118 inches long and weighs 667.5 pounds. An important part of Zeb's megafish mission is recognizing the threats that these giant freshwater fish face. Pollution and dams block up stream migration and destroy spawning habitat. That means less fish in ecological wastelands. Overfishing and habitat loss is also a common problem affecting these giant fish. Zeb Hogan's survey will continue over the next three years, searching 14 lake and river systems on six continents. For more information and pictures on megafish, check out nationalgeographic.com, keyword megafish. And as always, you can go to challenger.org for more vodcasts, podcasts, and information about space. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, this has been Junior Commander Caroline. And Junior Commander Stephanie. Over and out.